Hey, my name's Jordan. I'm 16, and I'm determined to become a successful entrepreneur, despite my difficult home life. I live with mom and two little brothers in a trailer in a really rough area of town. Crime rates around me are really high. Our trailer's been broken into two times this year. And both times they took our television and the bills money that my mom kept in a pot in the kitchen. I share a bedroom with my two little brothers. Most of the time I end up sleeping on the couch in the living room so that I can have a bit more space. I know that mom does her best for me and my brothers and she works three jobs as it is. She is constantly exhausted, but she always has a smile on her face and remains positive. I know that it isn't her fault, as she's trying her best. It's my dad's fault. He walked out on us when I was 10 and hasn't been back since. He left my mom for a younger woman and started a new family with her. He doesn't have time for us anymore. He always makes excuses so that he doesn't have to see us, which really sucks. Kids at my school teased me because most of my clothes were from a thrift shop. I used to avoid going into the canteen as I couldn't afford any of the nice food. Sometimes my friend Zach insisted on buying me cheese fries and I always felt bad accepting them off him. Cheese fries are my favorite food along with meat feast pizza, but I wanted to be the one buying them for my friends, not the other way around. I wanted to help my mom out, so I took on this dishwashing job in evenings and at weekends. It was in a restaurant near where I live. I saved up my wages, but instead of giving them to my mom, I decided to invest them, as it's my dream to become a successful businessman. I bought a box load of snacks from this wholesale place. Bags of chips, sweets, and chocolate bars. Zach helped me sell them at school, and I sold out by the end of the day. I gave Zach his cut of the money, and I invested mine into buying three more snack boxes, which also sold out by the end of the day. Someone reported me to the head teacher, Mr. Barlow, and he got really mad and banned me from selling snacks on school property. So I started selling them just outside of the school gates. Mr. Barlow called me into his office, and I thought he was going to shout at me. I hear you're still selling those snacks of yours, he said. Yes, I am, sir, but not on the school property. I see, he sighed. Look, I like you, Jordan, and I like your initiative, but I can't have you selling boxes of snacks by the school gates. But, sir, which is why I'm giving you permission to use the old janitor's storeroom to sell your snacks from. I stared at him open-mouthed. That was the best news I'd heard all year. Thank you. Thank you so much. I figured it would make more sense to have you on side than go against you. Besides, I admire your spirit. (laughs) He chuckled. My snack shop is booming. I open it every break and lunchtime, and Zach and this girl called Fiona help me run it. I give my mom some of the money I've earned to help her out. I'm saving up for a new laptop so that I can start an online business. Now I want to start my own business, selling bespoke snacks and treats. But in the future, I have a dream to be a successful businessman with my own chain of hardware stores. Every Friday at lunchtime, I leave Fiona running the snack shop and I take Zach to the canteen and buy us both cheese fries. It's the small acts of kindness that go the furthest. And Zach has always been there for me and I will always be there for him. I'm glad that I live where I do because my upbringing has given me the drive to want to succeed and I have no doubt that I will. I want to give my mom and little brothers the best life that I can because they deserve that. Thanks for listening to my story. I've learned that determination and the ambition to succeed can help us to achieve our dreams regardless of where we come from. Please give this post a like and leave a comment with any dreams that you have that you plan on making a reality.